Hello, my lovely internet friends. Yes, new setting. I don't normally film here, but I figured that I kind of wanted to switch things up a little bit and film in a different area. Little shout out to Kiki's Delivery Service, one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. Stress. None of us are strangers to stress. No muggle, no witch, no wizard. Even though February was a short month, it felt like it went on for an eternity. I felt really motivated to make a video kind of talking about that, talking about how I manage my stress because I am personally a very, very stressed out person. Like when I'm stressed, it takes nothing for me to get stressed out. Let me start off by saying, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're into a little bit of magic in content, then don't forget to swish and flick the subscribe button down below to be a part of my muggle friendly and witch wizard friendly channel. Even if you know everything I'm about to tell you in this video, I think it's always nice to have a bit of a reminder. And if you're going through a stressful situation right now, then hopefully the things I'm about to tell you is going to help you out immensely. Okay, that's enough of the intro for now. Let's just get on with the video. Getting my body moving is the best way to kind of put myself more in the moment. And exercise, whether it's something light like stretching or a full-on workout, is a great way to relieve any tension. Exercise triggers the brain to release feel-good hormones called endorphins. And with stretching, you release tension and you gain flexibility. Stretching also gets your blood circulation flowing and does wonders to those lymph nodes. Cuddle with a pet. Owning a cat or a dog or really any other cuddly friend can actually lower your blood pressure. So find that furry friend of yours, even if you have to borrow them for a second and just give them some love. I would say the next best thing is to take a bath, but because I have really sensitive skin and sometimes baths don't really help me, the next best thing for me is to just take some time to really exfoliate my skin. I've been really gravitating towards Lush products lately because they're natural. A lot of the products that I have of theirs has lavender, which is very soothing. And I like to just give myself an extra treat. Sometimes if you want to give yourself a hand massage, then go ahead and do that. Just giving yourself some extra tender love and care to feel pampered and to focus more on your well-being and your body rather than the stresses that are going on in your life. Whenever I feel stressed out, making myself a hot drink or ordering a hot drink really helps soothe my body and I feel it's an extra treat for the day. So I usually opt for a tea if I don't want anything too caffeinated. If I want to treat myself, then I'll order a latte or a coffee. My go-to drink is probably a London Fog. Meditation or listening to meditation music whenever I feel my most stressed out really helps me be in tune with my body, be in tune with my mind, with my whole being. It really keeps my mind off of my stresses and helps me focus on my internal self. I also listen to a sleep meditation podcast called Tracks to Relax whenever I have a hard time sleeping. It has been incredibly helpful for me. Surround yourself around people who make you happy, people that you love. Obviously, when we're around toxicity, that really tends to bring us down. So really make an effort to keep your circle positive. Watch something funny. Whether it's a movie or a TV show, laughter reduces stress hormones and increases the level of health-enhancing hormones like endorphins. So watching your favorite sitcom, I like to go for friends, finding time to enjoy yourself and laughing will really get you out of your head. 
trying out aromatherapy or essential oils is also a great way to alleviate stress. Find a diffuser and put in some lavender oil or jasmine oil. Lavender will help calm you down and helps with sleepiness, whereas jasmine is beneficial for treating depression. There are tons of other essential oils you could use, but those are probably my go-to. Take some time to unplug for the day. It's better that you do it right before you go to bed, but if you can't do it, find some time where you just don't look at your screen, where you turn off your phone, where you don't get any notifications, because for me personally, whenever I hear my email notification tone, I get very anxious. So I will typically have my phone on mute and I will find time to turn off my phone completely in the day. Stay away from anything that sends you notifications to trigger that anxiety. The less connected we are to the social media world, the more connected we are to ourselves. So just take a little bit of time in your day to unplug. This might sound odd, but buy a plant. I was never really a plant or flower girl growing up, but I've really found that having some greenery in your space can really help relax you and i read that research has found that simply being around plants can induce your relaxation response so go out there and just buy a lovely plant for yourself and just put it in areas around your space breathe don't forget to take a breath have a couple of moments where you're doing some deep belly breaths to calm your mind. This also goes into meditation as well. This will really help you focus on your breath rather than the worries that are going on in your head. Those are my tips and tricks and things that have personally helped me in my battle with stress. I really hope that this video has helped you out even if these things that I've mentioned don't actually work for you just to have a couple of minutes of a distraction is always nice. If you are going through a particularly overwhelming time in your life right now, if you feel totally spread thin, if you feel just overwhelmed to your core, please know that you will get through it. All the stress that you're feeling right now is going to be yesterday's news eventually. Sometimes you really do need a friend to tell you that everything is going to be okay. And I'm here to tell you guys that you're going to be okay. With all that being said, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and check out my social media accounts down in the description box. So that's it for me for today, but I will see you guys in my next video next week. Much love, guys. Bye. Much love, guys. Oh. My wand.